Sometimes it's important. Sometimes it's important to know what the input and output resistance of a circuit is so you can figure out how much it loads a circuit that's going to be preceding it uh, or how much it contributes to a, a subsequent circuit uh, that it might be driving. So in order to find the input resistance, we're going to put a test voltage and measure the test current that flows through it. So here we have the same small signal circuit that we were looking at in the last video. We want to find the input resistance. So we're going to place a test voltage source, P sub x, at the input. And we're going to measure I sub x that flows through it. And the output node is short. Here we can see that Vx over Ix is simply equal to R1 with R1. Similarly, if we want to find the output resistance, we can look at the same circuit, only now we're going to place our test voltage source at the output node, measuring the current I sub x that flows into it. We're going to short the input node. So. Now, this analysis is a bit tricky. If we leave the resistors R sub E and R sub L in the circuit, so what we're going to do is virtually remove those for the time being. So we're going to virtually remove these for the time being, and we're going to place them in parallel with the final answer, since we note that we're, that they'll be in parallel with the solution that we're finding. All right. So let's go ahead and write our KCL expression. So we have an IX equal to DX divided by R sub zero minus DM and VDE plus DX divided by R pi. Now we note here that the that VB is grounded. So VBE is simply equal to minus VX, since our voltage source is tied to the emitter node. We can now make a few substitutions. Let's simplify. So IX is equal to VX over R sub O plus GM times VX plus VX over R pi. We can say that Vx over Ix is equal to 1 over Ro plus Gm plus 1 over R pi. Finally, we can say Vx over Ix is equal to 1 over Gm parallel Ro parallel. Typically, GM is greater than and GM is greater than whatever R pi. And if that's the case, we can say that the output resistance is approximately equal to whatever GM. And oftentimes, when we look into the emitter of a transistor, we will say that the resistance looking into the emitter is approximately equal to whatever GM. All right, so we'll stop there for today. And in the next lecture, we will look at MOS amplifiers.